Hello everybody, it's Raven again and we're here on the new test build that came out yesterday and we're going to check out a little beam engine I put together and today I'm joined with by uh, tamino san who Hello. should be flying over here eventually. I'm here. Oh, where are you? There you are! Hey! How's it going? So we've got this giant cylinder, well roughly cylinder, an activation block over here and the activation block I will show you how it's all hooked up in just a second, but if you want to go ahead and click it, you can. And hopefully it should work. There we go. And if you watch inside, it'll start pulsing in a circle. There's actually two nice. beams that go off. And so, yeah, it's just a little, little bit of fun I came up with. While I was bored, and uh, I'm adding, I'm adding some beams. Go for it. Let's see how spazzy we can make it. There we go. Now it's almost like fractal lunch in style. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's all all single direction instead. Oh no! You're getting hit with tons of radiation. You're gonna die now. You have instant cancer. <laughs> oh, so like this. It's but, amazing. Yeah, so the whole trick to this, uh, let me jump in the core really quick. And I'll strip off the sides so you can see exactly what I did. And so the viewers can also see. Just go like this. May have, no, we're good, okay. Oh, I see it, yeah, yeah. It was just an activation module, some delay modules, more activation modules, and salvage beams. It's not particularly complicated, but it does pr produce a pretty cool effect. Obviously you can see the activation sequence with the blue and red indication. Yep. And it just rolls around all day long. There's actually, I'm actually working on a way to do a startup sequence, and then it'll yep. go into the regular. Nice! Um, which will be hopefully pretty cool. Um, but yeah, just little bits and pieces. No, I, it is. I enjoyed building it. Yeah, it looks great. You, what you should have is an area activation gate that triggers it when you come into the observation area. And then when they leave, it turns it off. The The tricky part is turning it off, as you know. I've, These things yeah, yeah. are kind of a pain to turn off. I did, I did have a solution that, and I will share it with you, my friend. All right. Well, that being said, maybe you'll see an updated version of this. There is a ship that I've been working on that we will be that uh, Zyrenica and I have been working on, and we're going to be packing it full of logic. So this may be a prominent feature. Obviously much better done. Um, but yeah. Thanks for watching, y'all. And we will see you again next time. Indeed.